Hello, it's Dr. Hausman at AR Health, uh, answering your questions about sexually transmitted illnesses. You guys have submitted some questions for me and I've been uh, answering them to the best of my ability. We've got a question here that uh, I wanna go over. Let's take a look. Do I have to tell my doctor I'm gay? Well, no, you don't. Uh, it's your body and it's your health and it's your privacy. Um, but I don't think that's the best way to think about it. Uh, it's important that your doctor knows as much about you as you will let them know uh, so that they can counsel you in a way that makes the best sense uh, for you individually. Um, and so there's really no reason to talk about some of the things uh, that apply only to somebody who's heterosexual uh, if that doesn't apply to you. And if they don't know those things, they're gonna be focused on the wrong stuff. So it's certainly important that you feel comfortable talking to your doctor about your sexuality. Um, I hate to say it, but a lot of doctors aren't comfortable about talking about sexuality, even though we need to be. Um, and so it can be a little bit of an awkward situation. Hopefully your doctor will be someone who is understanding and compassionate enough to be able to actually bring that up and then talk about it with you in a very non-threatening way. Um, but I do think it's important that uh, you're honest with your healthcare providers to let them know about your sexuality um, because there are going to be different recommendations for people based on their personal experiences. Um, you would get different vaccines or maybe have discussions about PrEP or perhaps uh, you would uh, need different types of health screenings uh, to look for HPV or uh, you know abnormal uh, tests of the cervix or anus. Uh, these are all really important to talk about and to make sure that you stay healthy. Um, and I think of it kind of like if you are a doctor, you're thinking about your, your patients and you're thinking about the symptoms they have in the context of what you think that person's uh, risks are. Um, so I, I can use the analogy that if I was standing here and I could hear the sounds of a horse galloping by outside my, my office, I mean, obviously that'd be weird and I'd be like, what the heck? But I wouldn't think, oh, there's a zebra out there. I'd think, why is there a horse in my you know parking lot, right? There shouldn't be one, but I would be thinking horse, not zebra. Now, if I'm in Africa, and I'm on safari and I'm hearing the sounds of a, of, of a horse, I might think about a zebra because that's much more likely then. So if you don't tell your doctor about all of the things that matter, you may not get the right diagnosis. And it may not even really be their fault, although it is their job to make sure that they're asking you the right questions. Sometimes you don't think about things in the right way if you don't understand the sort of lay of the land, so to speak. So. Definitely important to talk to your doctors about your sexuality um, and find doctors who uh, you feel comfortable doing that with. That's super important uh, because it's, it's important that you don't feel judged and that you feel that your doctor cares about you. So if you have other questions about this, uh, please reach out to us and I'd be happy to talk about them more.